Okay, so let's look at the very last question here, question L. So this is a question where we have two fractions in the denominator. Okay, so again, we need to have a strategy here of how we are going to clear the denominator. Okay, so we need to find the essentially the lowest common multiple that will allow us to multiply and clear this fraction. Okay, so let me just rewrite this out here. So we have an x plus two on the bottom, an x minus three on the bottom, and equal to negative four. So to do this properly, again, I put large brackets around it, we need to find a, an expression such that when we multiply through each term, we will cancel out the denominators. Okay, so the simple multiple for this is the product of the two terms on the bottom. So it's x plus two times x minus three. And we have to multiply that through into each term. Okay, so we gotta multiply by the first, second, and then the negative four term. All right, so if we do the expansion of this, this is gonna get a little bit long, a little bit messy here, but we'll write it out. So the first term here is four x plus two times x minus three all over x plus two. And then we're gonna multiply by five times x plus two times x minus three all over x minus three. And then we're gonna have four times x plus two times x minus three. Okay, so the, the x plus two terms will cancel, the x minus three will cancel. Okay, and then we're left, we're gonna be left with an expression where we're gonna to have to expand the brackets and then collect terms. Okay, so let's just break this down. So we're gonna have four times x minus three plus five times x plus two is equal to negative four times x plus two times x minus three. Okay, so for us to, to solve this, we, we need to now expand and collect like terms. So this is going to be four x minus 12 plus five x plus 10 is equal to negative four. Now let's get rid of these two brackets. So this is going to be x squared plus, um, oops, x squared in order here, x squared minus three x plus two x minus six. Okay, and then if we collect like terms, we're going to have nine x minus two is equal to negative four x squared plus 12 x plus negative eight x plus 24. Okay, and then we have to keep going. So you just gotta keep carefully collecting like terms. Okay, so what we wanna do is let's see if we can write this expression all together here. So we have a four x, negative four x squared. So like I did in the other question, I'm gonna bring this to the left. So I'm gonna add four x squared to both sides. So that'll make it put this on the left side. Okay, and then I have here a 12x minus eight. So that's going to give us positive four x in total, but then to remove it, we're gonna subtract four. So then we'll have nine x minus four x, okay, which is gonna give us five x. Okay, and then we have plus 24 here. So to get rid of that, we have to minus 24. So that will give us negative two minus 24, which is negative 26. Okay, so at that point, you just need to convince yourself or work through those steps to make sure that you have done those correctly. Okay, and then we just will start looking at our rule. We need to factor this. Okay, so put down a couple of brackets like this. Okay, and what we are looking for is the same kind of idea here. We're looking for two factors that multiply to give you negative 26, that add to give you five, and that you multiply to give you four. Okay, so we'll have to work out some combinations um, to see what that goes and how you're gonna get that. Um, it's gonna leave that question there for you to try. Okay, you can consult the answer to see what the final solution is. And then once you get what expressions are in each bracket, you set those to zero and then you solve for x. Okay, so that's how you would go at this question, getting it into a form that allows you to make it factorable.